welcome back guys to my youtube channel today's story i'll be on how to call this lovely gown this is a two pattern gown i i've made a longer part a longer version of this before in the previous video so i have this material the ankara fabric to be 12 inches by 39 inches 12 inches by 39 inches the 39 inches will serve as my gown length so the 12 inches is just for the breadth 12 inches is okay because the person's bust is just 36 so having 12 inches is a free gown i would like to make it uh, 40 so the remaining two inches will be for the sewing allowance as i've measured there i have this black cashmere material also to mix with it you can see i will take it to the machine now and sew you can see how i'm i'm placing it i'm going to sew the black up to the length of the ankara fabric because it will serve as our front part so the remaining black will serve as the back part so guys if you're new to my channel please subscribe an old subscriber thank you for still watching with me thank you very much but welcome back so you have a starting point which serve as your shoulder a starting point so there you measure your shoulder as is 15 inches which is divided into two seven and a half inches for our shoulder and from that point i've measured downward eight and a half this uh fabric is for a petite person so mark out your bust your desired bust measurement then you add one inch to heat bring down what you have at the shoulder to you where your bust measurement is then you roll it up your one inch shoulder slant or shoulder slope put it there and you slant it upward to the nape of the neck just like so and from that shoulder you measure your waist your half length as is 17 inches so there you can measure your waist what you have for your round waist and you had remember we are adding one inch to our measurement so i added one inch there and from there you can just rule it down rule it down like that to have your a shape rule it down and you know already we have 12 inches for the measurement so that will still serve and if you're you're not sure you want to cross check what the hip is so that you won't have the hip area to be tight you can cross check and if it's not enough you refold but it's better you do your calculation before you start so right now as it is i'm going to measure the neck the neck width and the neck depth is three inches by three inches three inches for the width and three inches for the depth for the front and sorry i forgot to mention this i'm cutting both the front and the back together both back and front i do this because it has no zipper allowance that's why i do this most times and now i i measured one inch for the back neck depth but you know the width will still be three inches and three inches by three inches for the front neck depth and width so i have it like so i'm just trying to reshape so that you can see it so as that is done here at the at the front there will be an opening 
like a V opening, you know, this key or something. I'm going to have it at the front there. So because I joined the front, I'm not going to open it with my scissors. I'm still going to lose the stitch I made there. You understand? I will lose the stitch. So when I'm turning it with the facing, it will come out nice and clean. So I shaped the the arm. Oh, I'm trying to show here that I'm cutting both the back and the front together so I can cut out now. So I'm just showing here that I'm going I'm going to lose the stitch for about four inches downward. I will lose the stitch later. So it's going to have a side pocket from the shoulder. I've said this on this channel several times from the shoulder to 17 inches for someone who is not that tall. Shoulder to 17 inches will be for the pocket side or pocket length rather. So that's all for the cutting of the bodies. So now we are moving down to cutting of the facing. Facing is a, a smaller version of your lining. Yes. Smaller version of lining is facing. You use it to turn your, your fabric for neat finishing. So I'm placing the front part now on a folded material. On the remaining fa uh, fabric that I have, I'm placing it so at the folded, folded side, you place your fabric. So cut it out. Just cut the neck part out first. Then the shoulder a bit. Then like you can measure three inches or three and a half inches for the facing. Three inches or three and a half inches for the facing. Don't make it to be too long like that. It's always good when it's short. When it's short, you'll be able to tack it. You'll be able to do your hand stitch to tack it. So I'm trying to add to the front part. You know, I said three inches. That three inches will only serve for the slit at the front. So I added like two inches more to that front part. But the other part, like the shoulder part, I only added, I only measured three inches. So I'm cutting for the back, fold the fabric, the remaining fabric again. And you can place, place the back, the, the back on it to cut out the facing as well. Place it neatly, neatly on the fabric and cut out just the way we did to the front. You also measure three inches or you decide to make it three and a half. In case you are folding it in, you can make it three and a half. But I made use of three inches here. So chuck it out and cut out. And guys, I want to use this medium to thank all my subscribers. This week, I eat 400 subscribers. <laughs> I tell you, I promise to always celebrate every of my milestone on this channel. 400 subscribers. No be smart scene, no, no be play. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, all my subscribers. God bless you. So here yeah, you take the shoulders, right side facing each other, right side facing right side. You sew the shoulders quarter of an inch. Sew the shoulders with quarter of an inch, and you take the bodies to the front and the back, right side facing each other right side facing right side you also do 
half an inch on the shoulder. Do half an inch on the shoulder. Can you see him? Do half an inch on the shoulder. I will do that now, then I will show you what I got then. Right now, I'm trying to, you know, cut the sleeve. I've made a video on how to cut a, a basic sleeve. You know, we have uh, different types of uh, sleeve. This is a basic sleeve. And a basic sleeve uh, serve as a basis for all sleeves. Whether puff sleeve, you must know a basic sleeve first. So, I measure 3 inches at the upper part for the calf, sleeve, calf height. And so downward, I measured 4 inches. Right now, I'm just imputing the measurement. The curve and the upper arm. I've done the upper arm and that's the curve. I added one inch to each measurement it's a sew for sewing allowance. So here I try to use the curve uh, because I love freehand to curve out the head. I just had to drop it and use my hand. <laughs> I love freehand. I know pattern drafting. But I, I think I love freehand more. So I have it. I have it drawn out. So I'm cutting both the front and the back together. The Ankara fabric is served for the side that has a Ankara pattern. And the black material, the cashmere, will serve for the side that has black. You understand? You will understand when you when you see. Let's continue. You will see it. So make sure you always notch the edge, that tip of the of the sleeve. That is where to meet with the shoulder. So here I'm using another method of cutting my sleeve, my pocket rather, my pocket. Fold it into two folds, then you fold it, making four. Place your and your palm on it make sure you you your your fingers are not folded they are scattered just chuck it out like that then you have your pocket cut out that's just it another method of cutting pocket So cut it out after you count. It must be, it must be in uh, before a number. So, right now, I've done the the joining of the shoulder, the facing, the facing, and now I'll fix the pocket, the two pockets at the sides. I also join the side add the sleeve see I cut out that uh, pieces to fold to fold to make a fold on the sleeve I cut the pieces to make a fold on the on the sleeve so this is it after I've joined every part at the neck area I'm still going to tack with my needle and thread so I am done. I am done. You can see how lovely it is. Try and cut and sew this out too. And please give me a thumbs up and share my videos. Thank you. Bye.